Commander 55 was waiting at a landing platform for Commander Rico, who had just disembarked and was giving orders to his pilot. He came to Commander 55 as soon as he was done. Commander Rico, welcome to beautiful Felucia. Home of bugs, thugs, and a whole lot of hot laser slugs. Very good, Commander. You come up with that yourself? Afraid I can't take credit for that one, sir. Heard Glasden saying it to some shinies that came in last week. Ah, Glasden. Always liked him. So, 55, when is this meeting planned with Contra happening? In just about an hour, sir. Contra is coming down here with a light escort. Very well. Keep an eye on his men. We may be allied with them, but we are certainly not having them here as guests. Yes, sir. I'll have a man posted at every door. Good, good. And during the meeting, let me take the lead. I came here because I want to deal with Contra personally. I trust you completely, 55, but some things require a personal touch from the top. As you wish, sir. I look forward to seeing you two mix words. Someone needs to put this rebel scum back into his place. Roughly an hour later, Contra arrived to the meeting with 55 and Rico. Gentlemen, thank you for gathering for this meeting. And why was this meeting called Contra? Rico said, trying to put a little bit of bite behind his words. Well, I come here with apologies. It seems as though our two armies have been clashing against each other when we really should be fighting our common enemy. I believe I was the cause of some of this unnecessary hostility. So I came here to extend an olive branch to the both of you. Rico was shocked by the sudden change of tone from Contra. It took a big man to admit his mistakes, and Rico always appreciated this. But he was still wary. What kind of an olive branch are you bringing us, exactly? Well, I've got some intel, and I'm sharing it in hopes that it can lead to some collaborative efforts in our two armies. I do admire your straightforward acknowledgement of our troubles, but what information could you have about the Empire that we don't? Some of my spies intercepted an Imperial officer on his way to a meeting. We pressed him for information, but it turned out we didn't have to. He didn't seem to care in the slightest about the Empire. In fact, he'd been looking for a way out for months. So he let us know the weaknesses of the Imperial forces in exchange for, well, his freedom. As it turned out, the main Imperial base along Sector 5 supplies all of the fresh drinking water for the entire army. Wow, that is quite the weakness. Indeed. What I was thinking is that we would attack simultaneously. My army will come down from the north, while your army will follow the river up from the south. Hmm... Yeah, I think our two forces combined in a pincer movement would be able to break through the fortress. Then we could take away their water supply. Exactly. This will run them dry. An army certainly can't run without water, and shuttling in that as supplies would take some time and deplete their resources further. Very well. Let's do it. Mobilize your army and we'll synchronize the attacks. The three men went on to discuss tactics and logistics. When all was said and done, Rico and 55 stood in the field, preparing for the attack. It's good to see you fighting on the field again, sir. It has been a while. Let's hope I still got it. A trooper came up to the two men. Sirs, it's time for the attack to begin, but the rebel army hasn't signaled in, and there isn't any sign of them. Are you kidding me? Ugh, this is the last straw. Start pulling the army back, 55. Another soldier ran up to them. Sirs, an Imperial force is heading for us down the river. Of course! If anything can go wrong, it does nowadays. Let's start pulling the troopers back to the base we've set up. We'll hold a front line here for a small time, 55. Let's get into it, boys. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and I am back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War Mod, Rico's Brigade Season 3. Wow, that's a heck of a long title. Um, either way, we find ourselves on Felucia once more, checking back in with the boys over here, 55 and Glasden. But this time around, Rico has actually made his way onto the battlefield, deciding to take matters into his own hands. And that didn't seem to work, as they seemingly have been betrayed by Contra once more. So this might be the final straw for Rico. We'll see what kind of excuse or non-excuse Contra comes up for this one here. Either way, the 501st Legion, the new 501st Legion, Rico's 501st Legion, finds themselves in a forward position against an enemy who is about double their size coming at them. So they're going to have to retreat back to their 
mini forward operating base over here and uh, hopefully survive and get a defense going or something like that. Uh, so we have Commander Rico right here. We have 55 right here, Commander 55, and Captain Glasden over here. I know a lot of people will be happy to see the return of Glasden as he has been a fan favorite. Okay, so without further ado, guys, I will be right back and we'll get this video started. Alrighty then, boys, let's go ahead and press start here. We're going to go in slow-mo because I need to figure out what tactics we're going to be using. Okay, so 442nd, uh, not, not clone trooper, stormtrooper battalion is walking on forward here. Looks like our troopers on the right side are already beginning to fire. I mean, we might as well see how they do in the very beginning here. A little bit of shots going out this way. Oh boy, this could be very bad or very good, this beginning engagement. Yeah, we might as well just sort of test the waters here, see what goes on, um, see how our troopers end up actually doing in this, you know, sort of beginning bit of the battle, because they, they could end up, you know, taking the advantage and doing quite well, or they could do horribly, and uh, we're going to need to peel off mighty quick. Um, like this side over here, we're already experiencing a lot of death. Uh, we are getting a good number of kills ourselves, but they're really letting us have it over here. Uh, yeah, we're going to start peeling back the right side, I think, already, because it, it looks like we're getting into a bit of a slaughter over here. Glasden, I want to keep you alive. you you, you got to go set up the right position on the military base here. Um, 55's troopers already actually retreating back because they are on retreat mode, so they will naturally retreat, but, I mean, it's always good for us to direct them a little bit. So let's get 55 out of there. We'll set him up on the ramparts because, obviously, he is a sniper, so... Kinda makes sense, if you think about it. Alright, give him another squad there. We're gonna have to leave some soldiers to slowly backpedal, just to make sure that they um, leave us enough time to get set up back here. So we, we're gonna have to make the sacrifice play a little bit. Alright, we're pulling Rico back to the left flank. He'll, he'll hold that section, hopefully, with two squads. So we took two squads from each flank, and the middle course. Um, so we've got six squads heading back to the military base, and the rest can sort of hang out. For now, it seems like the Imperials are just firing back at us without chasing too much, which is actually a very good thing, and our soldiers are sort of naturally retreating themselves. So this is actually working out quite swimmingly, and my hopes are that some of our soldiers don't retreat all the way back, but maybe like hang out in the foliage and things like that. Um, and that could actually help us out quite a bit if they do hang out in this foliage because they could slow down the enemy's ret um, not retreat, but advance forward. We're retreating. <laughs> so, yeah, let's set up a few of these guys just to sort of like hang out amongst the foliage here. We'll put them on no move mode um, so they'll stick around a little bit longer. Wait in ambush here and there because uh, I think we might be able to hold the back with not the full trooper amount. Probably not with those six squads we sent back, but. Um, Maybe with a little bit less than the full trooper amount. I'm not totally sure. We'll have to find out. All right. Glasden, we got to set up your men here. Get on those turrets, boys. Yeah. All right. Set up nicely here, boys. Please. Yeah, get behind those. Glasden, you're in a very forward position. Let's bring you back into the base. I don't want to lose him, you know. Um, and we'll toss a few more troopers onto the ramparts here and there. There's Rico himself. He is also in kind of a forward position. Let's get him behind a few of those troopers. Uh, and then we'll get more troopers on these two turrets here. So we got four turrets in total. That's not bad. Meanwhile, the guys that we had hold position up here are, in fact, engaging a little bit. They might be blending in with the foliage, like I said. Look at this. This guy doesn't even notice. The blue matches the blue. It's brilliant. Oh, but he is... Oh. Haha. <laughs> In a very bad spot here. Let's see if we can't maybe eat a grenade out. We gotta come out from cover. Oh, we got shotgun to the face before we could even get anything off right there. Leave our soldiers over here. Getting shot up a bit. Let's turn. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Why would you grenade that, you fool? Oh, actually, that grenade ended up doing some good, so. It was a nice thought, but it just didn't serve our position super well. Alright. Learning from our mistakes here, we're not going to have everyone hugging the trees. We are going to peel some back so that they're in a bit more of a facing position behind the foliage. So that way they can shoot from under, which will be nice. Oh, jeez. Look at this blob of stormtroopers. They all sort of came that way. Okay. Um, 
seeing how many stormtroopers there are we're gonna retreat another squad back here uh get them in into the interior of the base i'm a little bit scared not gonna lie all right we need to get some good good kills back here and uh this tree warfare can be kind of weird but uh yes yes okay we're getting some good shots off oh they're really stampeding over here come on guys yes keep spamming keep spamming oh, okay Keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. They don't even notice you on the ground there, my friend. Well, that guy did just try and kick you, but... Oh, that guy went on an absolute tear there with us. That was very, very nice. Okay, you guys, this is an ample time to uh, grenade a little bit here. Oh, and I already see they're grenading on their own. Beautiful. Yes, get those grenades out, boys. Do it. Make it happen, Captain. Get that one out. Nice. Okay. We're sacrificing a lot of troopers here, but I think it will be for the greater good in the end here. Eat that out there. Look at this. And the, the stormtroopers are just like in chaos mode. They don't really fully understand what's happening here. Because we're blending in with the trees so well. Oh my goodness. Even some trooper oh, look at these guys. Amongst the flowers. What a bunch of legends. Let's try and get some kills here. Oh. <laughs> I think they might have been trying to capture us alive right there. Oh, and these guys are literally inside the flowers. They crawled on in there and uh, are now just chilling. We actually got some guys across the river here. We might want to get them behind that downed gunship. That could be a good position. All right, we have definitely dwindled the Stormtrooper military a little bit here. Not too shabby. All right, but they are coming forward. They will reach our base for sure, but hopefully our base can hold them off on their own. All right, these guys amongst the flowers. <laughs> Yeet! Oh, okay. That didn't work out as well as I had hoped. I thought he was going to start spamming his rifle, but that didn't really work. Let's hope maybe these guys can stay incognito for a little while longer. Then we'd have some flanking units, which would be kind of dope, I'm not going to lie. That'd be sweet. Oh, where did we get shot from there? I'm a little confused about that one. All right, is our base starting? Yeah, our base is starting to round off some fire here. There's 55. The man himself already got five kills. He is about 11 times away from his record on the battlefield. Bit of a hike, but I don't know. Maybe he'll do it this battle. This guy's got three cheeky kills. Nice. Oh, that guy got caught up behind... Oh, they did leave these Flower Boys behind. Nice! Flower Boy. Excellent al album by Tyler, the Creator, if I do say so myself. I would highly recommend you check it out. Look at this, look at this. We're going to get a sick grenade right here. Come on, buddy. Yeet! Oh, oh that was beautiful. Six kills. And we fall back into the forest. Oh, but they're onto this guy. They're onto this bloke. All right, boy, you might as well use your time here. Get another grenade off. Oh, uh, that one wasn't as good. Didn't manage the cheekiness of the other one. Eat that one out there. Uh oh, look at this guy. Ooh, managed to cop, an, cop another few kills before dying right there. Alright, we're going to keep some of these troopers behind the lines over here. Maybe actually just duck them into the river. Because these guys behind here are actually firing into the sides of the stormtrooper army. So that's pretty good. Uh, 55 is getting, getting lit up there, so uh, we're going to fall him back. Though he does have 11 kills. Only five times away from his world record. His personal record. Maybe not world record, but his own record. Alright, Rico's troopers behind this little sandbag bunker over here doing quite well. Gladstone's troopers have yet to engage currently, but uh, they're just chilling. And uh, 55's troopers on the ramparts taking up the bulk of the military action here. Looks like they're getting a solid amount of kills as uh, the stormtroopers sort of crowd around the forest area. They're pretty susceptible to fire around those parts. Okay, let's go find some of these flower boys. Every time I say that, now I can only think of Tyler the Creator, who just released a phenomenal album called Igor. Very experimental. Very Let's cool. I'd give it a solid, like, 8.5 to 9 out of 10. I don't know oh, look at this guy. They don't even notice him. It's a suicide run, man, but you got this. 
Oh, it didn't do as well as I had thought. I, I held the pin too long. Alright, we got a few more flower boys here. Alright, you my friend. Gotta get in there. Shh, shh, shh. Hold it just long enough. <laughs> we tried to get him on the ground, but I mean, we had run him so far forward that there was no escaping that. That death sentence we basically gave to him. Alright, we have a few more troopers behind enemy lines here. And our little flanky boys over here. And the enemy numbers are in fact dwindling. They all seem to have just sort of compiled in the front of the base here. It seems like they really want to just work on taking out these ramparts, but our men are making it hard on them because we keep on ducking for cover every time they uh, they try and get some shots off. So I, I would argue our troopers are doing exactly what they should do. All right, we'll compile compile some of our flanking units around here. You guys get on the ground, start your little crawl. How are you guys doing underneath here? You're taking a little bit of fire, but you're getting a bunch out, so I'm inclined to actually contribute to these troopers instead of peeling them off. Yeah, because they're only able to take on the front lines right now, but it's it's helping. It's helping, for sure. Oh, a couple of troopers getting real, real close right now. Welcome to the danger zone. Oh, Rico's got a kill. Our boy is back. It's back in order. I'm actually tempted to peel out some troopers and take them to the hard left over here. And then, like, wrap around. If we could get a large force wrapping around that way, that'd be kind of cool. Might not be time for that quite yet, though. Maybe in a little bit. Maybe in a little bit. Because for the moment, we're still sort of just engaging here and there. We could definitely dwindle their numbers down a little bit before we we do the down and dirty deeds. That's what I'm thinking. Alright. Troopers on the flank. Looks like we did take a few losses over here. Let's compile our units over this way. Get these guys ready for a big push. I think that's a good idea. Oh, they're pushing in deep. They're pushing in deep, boys. Right, we got large stacks at the entrances, though. I was mentioning Glasden's troopers over here really haven't haven't had too much problems. Let's get a uh, 55 out here. Be with your troopers. He's got such a powerful weapon. I hate to put him in the back lines where he can't use it. He's just a vital resource. Rico, we're not going to peel any of your troopers off because, well, frankly, we need we need a strong force on that flank. But we will peel Glasden, who is not really helping out right there, and put him here with 55 now. Because this outside defense, I think, is going to be more effective than keeping them on the inside. And then having these guys on the inside is better over here for this situation. Alright. These guys are really piling up against the walls here, trying to get a peek on some of our rampart troopers. We might as well just take these guys off the ramparts, in all honesty, because at this point, the ramparts aren't a place you're going to want to be stuck. You're going to be... <laughs> wanting to be off those. Oh, our, our little flanking unit actually decided to engage on its own. I guess they, they decided they had a good shot. Oh, they're climbing up the ramparts. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Rico's troopers having to deal with mass troopers piling forward. Meanwhile, some of the interior troopers are having to deal with some wall climbers over here. These troopers over this way really still haven't had a single threat against them. Well... I'm thinking now is a good opportunity to come around the flank with maybe some of Glasden's troopers over here, pile in our flankers, and uh, start squeezing them from the back. There you go, Glasden. See if you guys can't do anything over here. Get down and dirty. There we go. We're starting to get some shots off from the back now. Oh, Rico. Oh, his men must have got hit by a bad grenade. Oh, there's another one. Get out of there, Rico. Nice dive. Oh, Rico, you're going to want to peel back, my friend. Okay. Glasson's troopers, time to retreat, you guys. Get back, get back, get back. Okay. Things started going real south right there. Oh, this poor trooper. Get out of there. Oh, and you guys. Yeah, time to retreat, time to retreat. Actually, we didn't lose too many in that engagement. Only five troopers out of probably, like, the 15 we had up there. 
I thought we lost more. What got me panicking is that is Rico's troopers started to lose some troopers over here. Alright, you guys gotta keep watching that door, though. Keep that watch on. Alright. <sighs> these two flankers have been living for a while. Maybe we could get a cheeky grenade off or two with these guys. Alright, Rico's side is really coming under some scrutiny here. Rico's alive, right? We'll yeah, there he is. Anywhere, Rico's sir. got five kills. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. This battle is not over to the the All right, lads. You able to get a grenade out there? Not really. You're gonna hit a bunch of trees if we try. Oh, that's the one. And we might be in the foliage enough that they can't really retaliate. Yes. Oh, that was big. That was a good grenade. All right, you peel off around this way. Oh, they're kind of on to us, though. Oh, wait, don't go any further. Just stay in that foliage. You're fine, you're fine. Stay frosty. All right, now's our chance, I think. Okay. I oh, Rico. Thank goodness you were a grenade... <laughs> sorry, a grenadier. Oh, actually, we're getting hit. Big push right now. Oh, these troopers might be dead. Dead meat, yep. Oh, my friend. Oh, gonna be All right, a it's a good thing Rico was a grenadier, because this calls for some grenading action from above. I'm surprised we didn't do this sooner. We probably should have. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Rico, you're an absolute mad lad. This is going to be a good one, too. Look, this guy's healing. He doesn't even know what's about to hit him. <laughs> Got him. All right. Rico, master grenadier. All right, toss another one right over there. Beautiful. Oh, uh, Rico's out of grenades. 14 kills, though. That ain't too shabby. Alright. 55, do you want to get into this? You haven't had some action in a few minutes. Alright, how do we do this? How do we go about exterminating the last of these Imperials here? Without losing too many troopers. Oh, perfect. They're going for the interior attack right now. So they're going to be wrapping around that way. Last in 55. You guys wrap around back here. Oh, time to retreat. Time to retreat. Time to retreat. Run, run, run. Through the foliage. Thank you. Nice little hit and run there, actually, because I think we got quite a number of kills. Alright, you, my friend. Flanker. Flanker. Oh. Ended up getting toasted. How about just a frontal assault? Push back into this position here. That might help. Just get there fast. Nice. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Come on, lads. Nice one. Alright, was that it? Nice. We did it. Whew. Okay, a bit of a tough battle there, because we were facing two to one odds, um, in terms of numbers. Which is never a great thing, but Man, we got the strats. Okay, so I think all of our commanders survived. Hopefully they did. I made extra care to Watch move the them out of the way if things got dicey for them. <laughs> yeah, Rico got 14 kills. Oh, there's Glazin. Oh, he was really low on health. He had four kills. Oh, and there's 55, who had 13. Nice. So Rico took the cake for commander kills, but uh, uh, 55... Coming in close with 13, and then Glaston got a, got a little bit in there. He got four. Not bad. Um, yeah, we really don't have too many troopers left alive. This flank never got attacked, which is actually kind of a good thing. Maybe it was these LAAT guys that sort of dissuaded the Imperials from attacking this way, uh, but the fact that we got to funnel them in one area was huge. I don't know if we'd be able to win the battle if they were doing a pincer movement on us. Uh, we only have, like, 20 troopers maybe left, so... Not a lot, exactly. Let's check out the losses, actually, real quick. So, yellow are dead clones, red are dead stormtroopers. Um, and there are a lot more dead stormtroopers on the field than dead clones, but uh, also a lot of dead clones. Let's be fair, we lost a lot of troopers during this battle. Initial combat, we lost a pretty big amount. Um, but we also... Well, we delivered some pain. I'd say losses were even in that initial initial combat phase. Then we started to retreat. Um, lost a few troopers on the retreat, like right around here. 
Um, and then this was where we got into some nice little, you know, stealthy warfare. Got a lot of kills, didn't lose too many. Um, right around like the end towards the base, we started taking some losses. In the base, we took a lot of losses. But the whole way, we were, you know, really killing these stormtroopers, making sure that we were staying on top. So overall, great battle. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you did. Give me a rating for what you thought of the episode overall in the comment section. Uh, remember to subscribe if you are not. Hit that notification bell. Check out Instant Gaming, my sponsor. Link in the description below. And thank you so much uh, for all the support lately. It's been phenomenal. I've been having a great time on YouTube as of late. So thank you guys. All right. I'll see you all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.